Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Welcome to our first video on the topic of Snell's Law. Snell's Law is a fundamental principle in the study of optics, and it governs the behavior of light as it passes through different materials. The equation for Snell's Law is as follows, and can be seen below. N1 times the sine of theta1 equals N2 times the sine of theta2. Well, what are these symbols? where N1 and N2 are the indices of refraction of the two materials that the light is passing through. The index of refraction is a value that describes how much of the material bends light. The higher the index of refraction, the more light bends. Theta1 and theta2 are the angles of incidence and refraction respectively. The angle of incidence is the angle at which light strikes the first material, while the angle of refraction is the angle at which the light bends and enters the second material which can easily be visualized by looking at our first example here. So we have the incident light or the light coming in. It's gonna hit this plane and this plane doesn't actually exist in a physical sense. It's just where the light is coming into contact with the surface. The incident light hits, becomes refracted down at an angle of theta two. So the incident light has an angle entering at theta one and an incident leaving at theta two. In this example, the N1 is air, which just has a refraction index of one, which means not very bendy at all. And then N2 of water is gonna be a bit higher, say 1.3. So what does this equation mean? Well, the equation is stating that the product of the index of refraction of the first material, N1, and the sine of the angle of incidence, sine theta one, is equal to the product of the index of refraction of the second material, N2, and the sine of the angle of refraction, sine theta two. To understand how this equation works, let's take an example of a beam of light passing from the air into water. The incidence of refraction in air is approximately one, and the index of refraction of water is typically around 1.3. As the light enters the water, it bends or refracts at an angle, which is determined by Snell's law, as shown here. Now let's see what this would look like if we're passing from a denser material into a less dense material. When light travels from a denser material, such as water, into a less dense medium, like air, the angle of refraction will be smaller than the angle, angle of incidence. Now let's discuss, now let's see what happens when light passes from a more dense material, such as water, into air. So as you see, we're gonna have the incident light coming in at a smaller angle or a steeper angle and be leaving at a higher angle. So this will be true of going from a more dense medium to a less dense medium. But depending on this incident angle, something weird can happen. This is called total internal reflection. This is when all of the light stays within the same medium. All of it is reflected or refracted. You have a 100% refraction which equals reflection. This is because when the light is traveling from water to air, it bends away from the normal line and appears to be coming from a higher angle than it actually is. This is known as the bending of light effect. It's important to understand that the direction of bending of light is determined by the relationship between the indices of refraction of the two materials and the angles of incidence and refraction, rather than the direction of travel of the light. It's also interesting to note that total internal refraction it's also to note that total internal reflection is the principle underlying fiber optic cables, where light is guided through these tables by reflecting off the walls of the fiber with no light escaping. If light was escaping, you'd be losing data. Important to know for the MCAT is that Snell's law applies to light passing through any type of material, whether it's solid, liquid, or gas. And it's a very important concept for understanding the behavior of light in different medias. Snell's law is an essential concept for understanding the behavior of light in different materials and it is an important topic for the MCAT. Thank you so much for watching this video on Snell's Law, and I'll see you next time.